Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, there was yet another attempt by the attorneys for President of the Caribbean Maritime University, CMU, Professor Fritz Pinnock, and the former Education Minister, Ruel Reed, to have the charges against them dropped. Now, the matter of the legality of the charges came up again today when Mr. Pinnock Mr. Reed, his wife Sharon, their daughter Sherelle, and Brownstown Division Counselor Kim Brown Lawrence returned to court. TBJ's Vashon Brown was there and now reports. President of the Caribbean Maritime University, Professor Fritz Pinnock, exiting the St. Andrew Parish Court on Thursday. He's greeted by his wife as he makes his way into a waiting vehicle. His daughter Abigail, who has been publicly defending her father, was also in court Thursday. It was the second court appearance for Mr. Pinnock, former Education Minister Ruel Reed, and the other co-accused. Attorney Hugh Wildman, who represents Professor Pinnock, made an application to Chief Parish Court Judge Chester Crooks for the dismissal of the charges against his client and the former Education Minister. He argued that there is no basis in law for the charges. The state, he argued, may have to put money aside to pay for a major civil suit if the matter continues. In court, Mr. Wildman pointed to a recent ruling by the Chief Justice Brian Sykes. The FID have no power to arrest and charge anyone, so those information laid by the two officers would be a nullity. And the Chief Justice agreed with everything I said on this. He made a point in the judgment, and this is why I invited the court to consider the judgment of the Chief Justice. We have a view that the Chief Justice should have thrown out the case. Justice Sykes, in his ruling last month, stated that the court is of the view that the Financial Investigations Division Act does not authorize FID to arrest and charge anyone. What it can do is investigate. The ruling also said, this court is of the view that the police officers in this case who arrested and charged the applicants, Pinnock and Reed, were never designated under the Financial Investigations Division Act. So the Chief Justice concluded that any power of arrest and charge that they did could only be by virtue of the JCF powers found under the Constabulary Force Act. In other words, Justice Sykes argued that it was not the FID that arrested and charged the applicants, but JCF officers in their capacity as JCF officers. The Chief Justice at the time refused the application to apply for judicial review. Yes. He didn't rule in your favor. No, he ruled in our favor on the interpretation of the FID Act. But he said as a matter of evidence, he did not see where the we have Brenton Williams, for example, and Mr. Faulkner were acting or appointed by the commissioner as authorized officers. We have now shown the evidence that they were so appointed. In court Thursday, the judge asked Mr. Wildman to put his submissions in writing and serve it on the Crown by next month. Both Mr. Reed and Mr. Pinnock will return to the Supreme Court on February 10 to ask a three-member panel to quash the charges. And we have the evidence here where, for example, warrants and other things were taken out by them as authorized officers, not police officers, authorized officers under Section 31 of the FID Act, which is, which is illegal. In the meantime, the accused had changes made to their bail conditions when they returned to court. They are now required to report to the police once per week instead of the previous order of twice weekly. Two lawyers representing the FID have also been granted a fiat to join in the prosecution of the case. Prosecutors told the court that they received the file from the FID on October 18. They argued that based on the assessment of the file so far, there are a number of items that are outstanding. The accused will return to court on April 8. It is alleged that the former education minister and his co-accused defrauded the CMU of more than $55 million and just over $1 million from the education ministry. Vashon Brown. TVJ News.